So you just purchased a brand new airbrush and excited to get painting, but you're left scratching your head trying to figure out, well, how do I use it? Then this video is for you. Let me show you a few ways these airbrushes can be adapted to your existing Badger hose or whichever type of hose you might have so you can complete your setup. So if you have a Badger branded airbrush hose already, then you're all set. Something like the 50-2011. You can also get you a quick disconnect, the 51-041. These are really great about holding the air in your line and being able to adjust the pressure on the side here with this valve. It comes with a little quick connect that goes on the end of your airbrush, and then you can just pop it on and off very easily. This is a great little add-on to really fine tune and dial in your air pressure settings. You can also get these without the air valve on the side, I believe it's a 51-042. So let's say you have the standard 1 8 and 1 8 hose. You can still install the quick disconnect coupler. You just have to take this end off right here that would normally go on your factory Badger hose. Thread it on like so, and you're all set. But if you don't want a quick disconnect at all, Badger does make a 36-010 and it's just a threaded coupler. Screw that onto your hose and then you can install the airbrush. Another thing about the Badger factory hoses, on the compressor end, they do have a quarter inch fitting, but not to worry, Badger makes the 50-052. It's called the 1 8 to 1 quarter inch adapter, which easily just goes into the end and then will fit your average 1 8 size regulator in. Just goes on like so and then you're done. Another thing I would like to show you is using your Badger airbrush with the no-name cordless compressor. This is our most universal kit that we offer which can be used with most of the other brands of airbrushes as well. Just grab your Badger coupler here, install it on the airbrush and thread it onto your compressor. Don't twirl it like I do or you'll bend your needle. Turn it on. And you're all set. I've also used this with quick disconnects because if you haven't noticed by now, I don't like unscrewing my airbrush often. Just take off the end that's designed for your Badger branded hose. Install it onto the compressor. Take your coupler for the airbrush itself and pop it on. Turn it back on and you're all set. As always, I hope this has cleared up some confusion or at least shown you some of the options out there of things you might need before placing your order. If you're unsure or have any questions, please give us a ring and we'll be happy to help you as best we can. Please don't be jealous of my nice little Badger hard case. I've had it a while and I'll probably be keeping it a while.